Hi guys! Today I'll show you how to make fish curry Kerala style. This is traditional fish curry with coconut milk. We'll need thinly sliced red onion, minced garlic, minced ginger, and slit green chilies. For the spices, ground turmeric, Kashmiri chili powder, which provides a red color but doesn't have much heat, red chili powder, ground coriander, and ground fenugreek seed. I'm using canned coconut milk, but you can definitely use fresh. Coconut oil, tamarind for sourness. This is called korambuli and comes in a packet like this. You can find this in South Indian grocery stores or online. The more common type of tamarind is this one. It comes in a block, usually from Thailand or India, and you can cut it into pieces. This can be found in most Asian grocery stores. Both types of tamarind need to be soaked in water for a few minutes before using. Today I'm using korambuli. I've washed it and I'm going to soak it in water for a few minutes. The last ingredient is curry leaves. I have a small curry leaf plant growing on my windowsill. It's really nice to be able to pick it fresh. Curry leaves are available at Indian stores. For the fish, I'm using black sea bass and golden palm fruit. I generally use only one type of fish, but I had fried some pieces a few days ago and then frozen the rest so I wanted to make curry out of them. You can use snapper, bass, kingfish, mackerel, really any type of fish with a good amount of flesh. Heat up a pot and add oil. When the oil's hot, add minced ginger. Cook for just a minute. Then add the sliced onion and a little salt. Saute until soft. Add minced garlic and cook until golden brown. Put a sprig of curry leaves in towards the end. Now all of the spices go in. Give it a stir. Pour in the coconut milk. Add salt, tamarind, and curry leaves. I snap the stems in half and add them too because they're precious. In India, the curry leaf plant grows like a weed, so you can afford to waste the stems, but not here. Add some water, stir well, and bring to a boil. Put the fish pieces in. They should be sitting in the liquid. You can add a little bit more water if necessary. I know some of you don't want to see the fish eyes, so here, I'm covering them with the curry leaves. You can add a little bit more water if necessary. Cover the pot and simmer on medium-low for 15 to 20 minutes, depending on the size of your fish. Since the heads are large, I'm turning them over halfway through cooking. Of course, you don't have to do anything if you're not using the fish heads. I'm just gonna pull away the cheeks so the head sits in the liquid. When the fish is cooked, add a little coconut oil and a sprig of fresh curry leaves. Gently swirl the pot. You don't want to use a spoon to stir the fish because the fish is soft and it could break apart. Fish curry is never stirred, but always swirled. Cover the pot and let this rest for a few hours. Then refrigerate. Fish curry always tastes best the next day. It tastes even better two days later. The gravy is silky and creamy, but also a little spicy. You can always add more green chilies or chili powder according to your taste. The recipe I'm giving you is not very spicy. The fish is very soft and this curry is perfect served over rice or with boiled tapioca or kappa. It's an easy curry to make and I hope you give it a try. Click on that bell icon to get notifications when I upload a new video. For more easy recipes, hit that subscribe button and share this video with your desperately hungry friends. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.